Not about the transports. This came at the time you were testifying about your responsibilities at the crematorium. No, I only say as far as the work detail is concerned for which I was responsible. We will not argue about it as the notes show otherwise. What do you say about the detail of Maul? Maul is not looking at this the right way. Now, it is actually true, and I have explained this before, that the officer was responsible for the entire transport. That he was responsible to see that all were unloaded from each transport. The doctors were responsible for the phase of work to see that the people were killed and all the bodies disposed of. Now, it was the responsibility of the subordinate, like Maul, to see that the people actually got into the gas chambers under the doctors and then to see that their bodies were burned. As far as the subordinate leader was concerned, it was, it was his responsibility. She said that none of the work detail escaped and he would be responsible to see that none got away. In the last analysis, I was responsible for the entire matter. That is the entire situation dealing with these transports. You told us about some of the problems of making sure that everyone was exterminated. Yeah. For instance, that mothers hid their children under clothing after they undressed. And who was the person who gathered up the children, searched them out, and put them in the gas chamber? Uh, I think that this has been slightly misunderstood. The way this thing happened is that the mothers had babies with them, hmm? who would be wrapped in blankets or cloth. Now, the people had been told they were going to take a bath. They had no idea they were going to be killed. It was not the idea. The mothers did not want to take the children with them to the bath and left them outside. Now, later on, the word detail from the administration would pick up the babies and put, the, and put them into the gas chamber as well. Was it Mole's responsibility to see that the children were disposed of? Yes. But it would not mean, on the other hand, that Mole would, would be personally responsible for picking up the babies from under the blanket. I did not tell any one of the officers or non-coms that they would be responsible for this particular thing, but the entire team was <coughs> responsible for the extermination, okay? It was to be done, and all of them Carry out the order smoothly and properly. You, Mole, you said that your team respected you because you gave them a hand. Was this job of picking up small children and gassing them part of the hand you loaned them? Possibly this was not expressed correctly by Hoss. I had nothing to do with the searching of the clothes because that was not my duty. As I said, the officers that had charge of the duty when the transport came in was responsible for them until the moment they entered the gas chamber. I had nothing to do with that. I never touched the babies or anything, had anything to do with nothing. Did any of your men have anything to do with it? Anyone under you? Yes. The prisoners. They were responsible for that. They had to clean up the room after it had been cleared of people. Then they would take the babies and throw them into the gas chamber. There was a strict order against any SS men touching any of this property. We're not talking of property, we're talking of people. Did you have a special operation to kill these babies, or were they thrown into a room where people were still alive and all were gassed together? Such a thing only happened rarely, and I cannot remember a case where a baby was found. But if they were found, they were thrown into the gas chamber. How do you know? Well, that was the order for the officer responsible for the transport, and if any children were found, they were to be disposed of like all the rest in the gas chamber. You carried out your orders? I emphasize again that if I find, if I did not find any children, but if I did, I emphasize again that I did not find any children, but if I did, I would have to throw them in as well. Did you shoot any babies in the neck like you did the other victims? Such a thing never happened. This is what you said about shooting other people this morning, then we proved you a liar. Are you sure you were telling the truth this time? End of scene four. Scene five. Time two days later. Place, the visitor's room in the prison where host is being detained. The room is empty except for a table and two chairs. Ingrid is seated at the table. The door opens and host enters, escorted by a guard. Host is handcuffed and his legs shackled. He sits down, the guard leaves the room. Ingrid, how are they treating you? We are barely getting by. Are the children well? They ask me all the time when you'll be coming home. <coughs> I don't know what to tell them. Say what you must. Tell me what I must say! What do you want from me? The truth! The truth. Yes, the truth!
Truth is, you were there with me. Oh, I know that, but that doesn't mean that I knew what was going on. You made sure of that. I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect our children. Protect us from what? <laughs> what do we need to be protected from? Prisoners. The prisoners? Well, you were the commandant. Oh my God, what, what, were they, what was there for you to be afraid of? Things took place. Unpleasant things that I thought would upset you. you know, they're accusing you of having committed the most horrible crimes. I can't believe it. I was just doing my duty. Doing your duty? Oh, is that all you have to say? What else can I say? Bruno, I had my orders. I was obliged to carry them out. They're saying, Rudolph, that you are responsible for millions of deaths. I mean, how can that be? I answered their questions. That's all I could do. But they may execute you. I know that. What's done is done. How can you be so calm when you know you'll be leaving behind a, a widow and children? Many bad things happened in this war. Oh, that doesn't help me and the children. You know, if I could help you, I would. You and Hitler. And your cronies were so sure that Germany would win the war. And we believed you. I had no reason to doubt my Fuhrer. Well, what do you think of him now? Does that matter? Yes, it matters. Because, because you're being accused of the most awful crimes. But if you thought the Fuhrer was right, well, well look, then how can you possibly explain yourself? Ingrid, I did not make policy. I carried out Orders. Yes, but you can't you tell them that you were misled or deceived. Well, then maybe they'll let you live. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why not? I mean, why can't you say it was all one big misunderstanding that you were made to follow orders and otherwise if, if you didn't, they would have punished you or they would have punished us if you refused to obey. Because it would not be the truth. So what are you saying? That you agreed to do all those awful things? It had nothing to do with whether I agreed or d disagreed. It had to do with what I was ordered to do. But they don't believe you. They're holding you responsible. You were the commandant. They know they that. They also know that I had my orders, which I was expected to follow. My poor deluded husband. I mean, how can you say such a thing when they're telling you that you were the one ordering to commit mass murder? I did not murder anyone. In fact, during the war, I never so much they laid a finger on anyone. German, Russian, Jew, you, our children, anyone. But Rudolph, they're saying that you ordered yeah. those things. You just don't understand. Oh, what is there not to understand? But I was following orders, not giving them. Listen, Rudolph, even though you tried to shield me from what was going on at the camp, I did see and hear enough things to know that you were in charge of something really big. I was merely an administrator. Do you think you're fooling anyone by saying that? I'm not looking to fool anyone, Ingrid. I did what I was ordered. That's all. You are being accused of killing women, children, even infants. Entire families wiped out by your orders, under your command, right in front of your eyes. Yes, that did happen. But they were Jews, and I was told that they were the enemy. Including little babies. They were the enemies, too. Yes, I was told that, and I believed it. Oh, are you for real? Yes. You killed little babies! I mean, what were you thinking? Were you insane? I mean, you could have talked to me. What good would that have done? I'm your wife! Doesn't that mean anything to you? Rudolph, I mean, what is going to happen to me and the children? Have you contacted my sisters? No, well, I try, but they refuse to speak to me. I mean, they call me a Nazi. Pig, horse, slut, murderous tramp, and other awful names. I mean, I don't know who to turn to. I don't know what to say. I just know that you're innocent. I wish I could say the same for you.